Howdy y'all, Bush51, doing Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Alright, the last part, we took care of the water... No, oh, the water temple, jeez. The Woodfall Temple. And we brought back the Deku Princess, and in this part, we're going to head over in this direction. As a matter of fact, we're going to be heading over to... What's the sign say? The Deku Shrine! To be getting our... Not our... Stop hopping. To get our next friggin' item. Or whatever. Get on over. Happen... Oh, oh boy. Hep, hep, hep. Alright, now that we have to actually go through that tunnel right there. Hop it on through! Hep and pep. And it appears that we're inside the Deku Shrine, and here's the butler. I would recommend wearing the bunny hood. And being young like while doing this. Because this is reminiscent of Dompei the Gravekeeper. For when you get the hook shot in Ocarina of Time. Link, I'm truly thankful for what you've done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we Deku have prepared something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. Uh, it's not really all that assistive, but whatever. Please follow me. Okay. Basically, what you gotta do is you gotta be able to keep up with this guy. It's pretty easy if you have the bunny hood. You can actually catch up to him pretty easily. If you get lost or whatever. Uh, not really all that complicated. Sometimes there'll be like these little random parts that get thrown at you. Like the little bridges and um, hopping along the water and stuff. Get, don't fall into the friggin' water. He slows down, too, if you, um, start to lose him or whatever. Ah, uh, no, 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 get out of the water, get out of the water, no! Watch out for that water right there. Keep following him. You can hear him, usually through the torch is a good idea. This is one of the parts that, um, the stupid jumping animations, well, not stupid, but the really cool but unnecessary jump animations come into play once again. And there are a bunch of red rupees. I'm pretty sure you can do fancy jumps along there. Keep on running. See, like, I could just reach out and touch him. It's like a family moment. Okay, jump across these moving bricks here. Great rubies! And no, don't fall in the water. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Just basically follow the rupees, the rupards, if you will. I guess since there's not really much else to talk about in this part, because I'm just chasing after a Deku butler, and, oh, there he goes. Um, <laughs> funny story that uh, actually happened earlier at work today, and, uh, I work in a used game store, for those of you who don't know. And, um, what happened today was we, uh, got news, basically, oh, ran into fire, watch out for that. Uh, we caught wind of a business that was accidentally selling Ocarina of Time 3DS five days too early. Now, seeing as, since last week I was preparing for, um, actually for my lady to, uh, watch out for the boulder, for my lady to, uh, come join me and hang out for a while, uh, basically what happened was I ended up spoiling her a heck of a lot. Ended up getting her a 3DS and Ocarina of Time, so she's been playing that for a little while. She's, she's like a walking encyclopedia for Zelda 2. It's so awesome. Uh, forget what the, oh, um, this part actually you need arrows. Forgot to mention that. But yeah, she's been playing that. She actually got through, uh, Dodongo's Cavern, uh, before I started recording this part here since, uh, it's actually, technically it's Wednesday morning, uh, but this should have been up Monday. I don't know, I'm sorry guys. Like, I'm sorry that I haven't kept my schedule up to date, but, you know, I have all life also. <laughs> I can't just be doing this forever and ever. Anyway, I think we're starting to get, yeah, I think we're at the end right now. Pretty sweet trick you got there, butlerman. Okay, I think this next bit of dialogue is actually important, if you remember from, uh, my first episode here of Majora's Mask. Well done, Link! Now here's the item I promised. Please accept it. Alright, we get the Ganon Mask. Not really, it's the Mask of Sense. This mask heightens your sense of smell. Where it would see to sharpen your olfactory perception. Sniff, sniff, that's the smell of power. Stinky power. Actually, when I see you, I am reminded of my son, who left home long ago. Somehow, I feel as if I am once again racing with my son. I'm afraid that I may have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I am still a fast competitor. Just like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. No problem, bullet guy. Alright, now that we got that mask, uh, we're actually be heading into this warp so we can go all the way back. Back! Roll back the rock to the raw dawn of time and sing the song with me. Alright, let's see. Next, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be heading, um... We're gonna be using our Song of Soaring to head back to the, uh, Southern Swamp area by the boat cruise. Because there's a heart piece we can get there. Now, um... That the two witches are all, you know, back in their working order and stuff. And, um, actually, you can only do this, I believe, after you, um... After you rescue... I think it's, uh, Komei who does the boat. 
It's after you rescue her and defeat Odalwa in the Woodfall Temple. Is the only time that you can do this. It doesn't matter what day it is, just as long as you do that. Alright, so we head on in here. Back into the boat hut. The boat hut! Boat hut! Alright, talk to this lady. Yep, it's called Kume. Take it off his clothes. Oh, crap! I gotta go do it again. Alright, so actually, um, I'm gonna cut this and uh, go help her again. And when I am back, yeah. Cut it right here. Alright, so guys, I just wanted to show off a little thing here. Uh, the whole point of the Mask Ascent, besides making yourself look like a pig, is you see that purple cloud over there to where uh, Tennel jumps over to? You can come over there and uh, examine it. I think you have to put it in a bottle. Let me check. Find out in a second. Yep, there you go. That's how you get the mushrooms to um, make the blue potions back in the shop. Now, I'm actually going to cut back to the shop since uh, I just saved uh, Kome or whatever. And that just looks really creepy to me. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back to the shop, so I'll be right back. Alright, now that we're back here, we're going to be actually taking the cruise again. And take this cruise for free. Well, yes, just as I thought. It seems the poison swamp has been cleaned up, so why not try something that's more interesting? I'll put a little game, I'll fly around in my broom, and you try and hit my target. Doesn't that sound fun? Yes! You want to do this for a heart piece. Tee hee hee! That's the way to go! But let me explain, you're not aiming for me with that bow, you're aiming for the target. That's funny uh, to those of you who played Ocarina of Time because these were uh, bosses from the Spirit Temple, which is funny. <laughs> if you hit me, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> yep, basically what it is is target shooting. You want to shoot the target uh, right behind, or underneath her, rather. Uh, you have unlimited arrows, so you can just spam them like crazy. If you do hit her, uh, she's like, Ah, you hurt me! But yeah, you just want to keep spamming arrows, getting as many as possible. I think you got to get 30, if I remember correctly. But uh, we'll find out. If I, again, if I mess it up uh, twice, then the third time is going to be uh, me doing it successfully. So, come on, freaking stop flying around! There we go. Where'd she go? Where did she go? Hey, frog. Oh, there she is. Got her. Shoot under her butt, but don't shoot her butt, or she'll be pissed. If you shoot her enough times, you actually uh, it makes you quit the game. It's like, oh, you suck. You shot her in the butt too many times. It's like, oh, thanks. Thanks for not telling me. Shoot her in the butt. Shoot her under her butt. Come on. Hey man, there we go. Yeah, don't think I'm gonna get it on my first try. It's been a while since I've actually done this target shoot. Stop getting in the way of my arrows. Jeez, not that complicated. That's oh, cool. Could you like shoot the targets into the stone walls and stuff? It looks awesome. Stop it! Don't fly so low, lady. Should learn that in Witch School 101, which I'm pretty sure they had in Banjo Kazooie, which is not this game. Stop getting shot. Shoot her. Shoot him. There you go. There we go, jeez, now I'm a beast. Come on, come in, come in. Oh no, I messed up! Crap. <laughs> well, that's what happens if you hit her too many times, she's pretty pissed. Shoot, but then I hacked ten times. <laughs> I'd like to see your parents' faces. Uh, I'm sorry, let me back on your boat. Ah, oh, crap, now I need money. BRB! Alright. So let's try this again. <laughs> and let's not try shooting her ten times. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, friggin' uh, never forgive me. If you gave me once, shame on you. Forgive me twice, shame on me. Where'd you go? Better not hit her ten times. That would suck again. Maybe a little less rapid fire and a little more actual aiming and shooting. There we go. Goodness. I don't know. I always like to rapid fire anyway, just because that's a lot more fun and a lot less tedious. But <laughs> this seems to be working as well. I suppose. Ah, oh, come on. Shoot her, there you go. Don't shoot her, actually. Don't ever shoot her again. She won't forgive me ever. Oh my god, stop flying ahead of me. I should go. Ugh! Alright, there she is. That one part always screws me out, because I'm like, where is she gonna go? What the heck? Come on. There we go. It's like I'm nicking, like, the very edge of it, too. It's like, it's a good thing it's not a bullseye competition or anything. That would be really obnoxious. And really hard. Especially with her zigzagging like a freaking old lady. Sunday drivers, so she's a Sunday flyer, since so she's an old grandma, which shoot her in the come on. There we go. I don't think I've shot her once either. Watch now, I'm gonna do it on accident, like purpose subconsciously. Like, ah, oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, shot her right in the back of the head. She'd probably be like, oh, I'm alright, just don't shoot me nine more times because I'm an old woman. Whatever. Freaking spider house. I don't even want to talk about that right now. 
Come on, I can do it. I can do it. I believe in myself. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. Poop! Come on. I'm not gonna do it, am I? Oh my god. Why do I suck at this part that looks really easy? I can't even see her. I'm still shooting her. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Oh, 24. 25. Come on. Oh, I'm so close to the end too. Oh, 27. 28. 29. Oh yes. 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 Freaking yes. 30! Pretty good considering you shot me again. Well, as I promised, here, take this. Woo! And we get hot piece number 17. Excellent. Gotta love it. Now, wasn't that fun? If you'd like to play again, come back and see me. I don't want to play again. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more thing uh, before we finish the episode off. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of side quest stuff again. So, um. So, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna be cutting to uh, Clock Town. We're gonna be heading back there. So, I'll see you guys in just a momento. Next time you go pooping in a field of daisies, don't come crying to me about it. <laughs> Alright, so we're back where we're supposed to be in Clocktown. Here at the Honey and Darling Shop, a gaming center, changing daily. Basically what it is, you want to reset time, uh, get yourself 200 rupees again. Uh, you're going to need to win these minigames uh, three days in a row because of three different things for each day. So let's head on inside. Hey, Honey and Darling, making out on the podium, whatever. <laughs> It looks like we have a visitor, honey. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. <laughs> oh, would you like to play? <laughs> Today is Bomb Chew Gallery Day, isn't it, darling? <laughs> the game is 10 rupees. 10 rupees seems to be a common currency here. <laughs> Hit each target with a Bomb Chew in the time it takes us to dance to one song. Mm. Basically, it, it gives you a timer anyway, and you just... I don't know. But if you fall off this platform, you're out, right, darling? <laughs> Are you ready? Start the music! And now they dance silly. And basically what you gotta do is you gotta hit B and you gotta hit all those targets with bomb chews. It's really not that easy, but once you get through this, the rest of it's just a breeze. Uh, general idea is you wanna let it go a little bit sooner. You can also spam these, but um, I don't know, it's not entirely recommended just because uh, you might end up missing like that, kinda, I don't know. But uh, generally what I like doing is I like releasing them a little bit before the target so that way they uh, follow the traction of the moving thing underneath you and uh, go straight towards the target usually, but I don't know. Can't guarantee it every time, unfortunately, but you know, whatever. Gives you like a minute to do it too. Again, this is like the hardest one that they have. Other, All the other ones are a lot easier in my opinion, but um, maybe that's just me, I don't know. Come on. Did I get that one or no? It's just gonna be obnoxious. Alright, I got that one, so I got one left, and I don't even know if I'll be able to get it. Come on, come on. Oh, did I get it? Yes! I think I got all of them? No! <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> it's already over, honey. For a while, it was a drilling barrel. Alright, so instead... Alright, again, I'm gonna try it one more time. And if I don't get it the second time, I'll cut to when I do get it. So, here we go again! Bomb juice everywhere! Let's freaking do it. Do it for the people. I don't know, I, don't, I personally am not a fan of bomb juice anyway. But the fact that they make just, they're just obnoxious to use, like practically, just I don't know, solidifies the fact that I don't like them. Just not a fan, really. Maybe I should just spam them. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Whatever. Keep mashing B. Keep putting down Bam Chews. Bam 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 Chew. Bam Bam Bam. Maybe I'll do a little better this time. I don't know. Freaking if there weren't like a billion and a half targets too, it's kind of obnoxious. Come on. Where the heck did them even go? Just like, nah, I don't feel like going to the rock shot wide to go and just whatever. Just go and poop on himself. Alright, come on, let's just keep going here. It's targets. Targeto. Get to the Come on. Did I get it? No. Come on. Friggin' are you kidding me right now? Go, bomb juice, go! Alright, how many I don't even know how many more I have left. I think I have like one or two or something. Go! Do better. Come on. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me right now? Come on, get it, get it, get it! Oh, no way! <laughs> Alright, so, cutting to when I get it.
<laughs> Did you see that, honey? You got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. I don't even know. I don't know what that means. You got 50 rupees! Thank God, because I wasted about 60 or 70 or so. That's annoying. So let's show him even more of him, darling. That's gross. I don't want to see any of that. I'm a child. I'm an innocent being. Alright, so basically, again, like I said, what you gotta do is you gotta come back the next day and they have a different game for you. I can't find the door there. Just... So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up time and I'm coming right back to where I am. So I'll be right back. Oh. Alright, back on the second day. Let's head on inside. Don't know why I sound like anything. Honey and darling, just don't make it out on the podium. <laughs> it looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, you're the one who got a perfect score yesterday. Would you like to play again? Today is an easier game. Basket bomb day, isn't it, darling? One game is 10 rupees again. You get a bomb inside every basket in the time it takes us to dance through one song. If you throw it with too much power, you'll fall off this platform, so be careful. Right, darling? That's what makes sense. Are you ready? Start the music! Yeah, this one's a lot easier. This is basically, um... If any of you ever played Mario Party, this is like bomb skipball. It's not that difficult. This sounds like so. Cause um a lot of the times the bombs autocorrect themselves and they like fall into the basket if they like yeah if they like tap the side like that so it's really not that bad it's just uh if you're not very good at aiming things then you know you're kind of screwed but by now you should be especially with that freaking bomb chew game I hate that game so much it took me like 80 rupees to do it's obnoxious I was I was like I was concerned too I was like do I really have to restart the day just because of this stupid bomb chew mini game I mean seriously it's like the dumbest thing in the world. But look how easy this friggin' is. I mean, seriously, I'm getting a bomb right in sing inside every single basket on the first try. Look at how I- Either that or I'm just really good at basketball and I don't know it. Look at that. Perfect. One try. Instead of pooping on myself. Look at that. Friggin' awesome. Perfecto! <laughs> Did you see that? Honey, he got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. I don't wanna know about that. 50 more rupees, yay! Now I have all the rupees that I lost. Alright, same deal. Gotta leave. Come back on the third day. BRB. Alright, third day, back in to Honey and Darling Shop. And I don't even need to say what they're doing. Freaking, oh, it looks like we have a customer again. Oh, are you the one who got a perfect score two days in a row? Do you want to play again? Why, yes, I do. Target shooting day, which I believe is arrows. <laughs> All the targets. Pretty sure this isn't that hard of a game. It's I'm pretty sure anyway, I don't remember exactly, but... Yeah, basically you just gotta shoot- oh wow, actually it's a little bit obnoxious because it's rotating. Oh, I think you can also hit them too, and they're like, ah, oh, don't hit us, it hurts! Wow, they bleed blue, that's craziness. They're like, ghost monsters, things. Like that. Yeah, you can just basically spam the arrows, this was the one I was thinking of where spamming arrows is just not a big deal. I don't know if they have like, an unlimited time that you can hit them or whatever, but just to be safe, I guess, probably don't want to hit them. At least not too much anyway. Yeah, you can, you can, you know, take your time and aim or whatever, or you can just blast them like a billion times like I am, like, yeah, I don't know. There's not really a big deal- okay, I'm sorry, I don't mean to shoot you, but when you get in the way of my arrows, it just kinda happens. Yeah, see, it's just really- it's the bomb chew one that's really hard, honestly. It's not really any of the other ones. Where the- is that it? Oh, I was gonna say. Yeah, 20 seconds left, not too concerned. I think that's the last target. Yeah, see, that was really easy, too. Like, the second one's and the third one's really easy, but the first one's just obnoxious. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. Ooh, honey, he, he got a perfect score three days in a row. This is all we have left to give him, honey. And we got ourselves our 18th heart piece. I wonder, are we truly happy, darling? And we leave them to be concerned in their relationship affairs. Now, that's actually going to be it for this episode, guys. Pretty sure um, that's enough side quest stuff for now. Uh, next time is going to be more side quest stuff. Um... Nah, a couple of heart pieces and a couple of uh, upgrades. So, for now, guys, that's going to be it. Until next time, Push51, peace out.